Good morning, good morning. I'm about to get ready and wanted to go live so y'all could join in. Say hi when you get on and I will be getting ready with you. Hope y'all are having a great Monday so far. So, I have already done my skincare this morning and about 15 minutes ago, I did primer. I use our Silk and Pore Wrinkle Minimizer, which is amazing as a primer because it just gets your face ready for your foundation or tint and moisturizer and fills in any fine lines or wrinkles and also minimizes those pores. So it's great to just apply it on your T-zone especially and it gets your face ready for your foundation. Love our Silk. Even my husband uses this stuff. Um, so. Um, I even heard it's good for cellulite. I need to try silk for that. Just haven't gotten around to it yet, but it's my favorite primer. So I haven't been wearing foundation at all this week. I've just been using our color correcting tin and moisturizer. So I'm going to show you how I apply it today and how easy it is to put on. Um, it's sheer yet full coverage, so it's going to get rid of any redness and even out my skin tone. Um, and it also has my sun protection, which is really nice. So first, after I prime my face, I do a little candlelight, which is our eyeshadow, our long-lasting eyeshadow. But I use it as concealer. Um, as opposed to our white concealer. We do have a color correcting white concealer, but it has a cool undertone because it's so white. So I prefer to use the candlelight shadow sense because it has a warm undertone, you can see. So it's more in line with my skin tone because I have warm undertones. So I usually just apply that to the inner under corners of my eyes to cover up any dark circles and then any blemishes I have. So like I have a few blemishes right here and I will just work it in with my fingers because it's easier and faster and the warmth from my fingers helps work it in really well. So that is just with candlelight. See it covers up any imperfections so that's really nice. All right, and then I'm gonna do tint and moisturizer. So, I usually just do one pump. I'm using a Real Techniques brush because it's a stippling brush, so it just works in the product really well. And then, lately I've been loving blending in a little bit of our natural powder just to give it a little bit more airbrush finish. So even though our products are full coverage and cream to powder, sometimes I want just a little bit more of an airbrush look and I'll just blend in a little powder. So it's super easy to do that with these products. Oh, got a little bit on my shirt. <laughs> All right, and I just start from the middle and work my way out. So you can see I have a little bit of redness on my cheeks right there. And our tin moisturizer just works that away really well. And I am going to do a little bit of highlighting and contouring. So that is just with tint and moisturizer. See, so it has a pretty powdered finish. And it's just like a sheer foundation. Like it feels like I'm not wearing anything. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's one of my top sellers, actually. So 
most people have heard of lip sense, which is amazing, but our foundation into the moisturizer is even more amazing. I love it. So I do have Tinted Moisturizer in stock if you want to grab one. This is my bottle and I've been using it since February. So you can see the no waste pump pushes up the product so you don't waste any and that's really nice. So it lasts forever. If you use it every day, it lasts you at least six months. So, All right, a little bit of highlighting and contouring. So I'm going to use our bronze powder for a little bronzing. So our powders are more for like setting or like what I'm using them for, bronzing, contouring. And they come with a brush, which is really nice um, because it locks so it won't dump out in your purse or while you're, tra while you're traveling. But I like to use my own brushes. But it's nice that they come with one that locks. It's just a little bit of bronzing and then I can go back and do a little bit of contouring as well. So I usually use our white concealer that I showed you for highlighting. So you can use it straight if you're fair or I just like to blend it in with a little bit of foundation or chin moisturizer. So. I'm going to use Tim Moisturizer, like, do like half a pump. Tim Moisturizer and a little bit of concealer. And then blend that in. always looks funny at this point with highlighting okay so I'm just gonna blend this in with my brush and this is totally optional but it just gives your makeup just a little bit of a pop and since these products last all day it's nice to look, you know, polished and put together without having to reapply. So once I finish, I'm done for the day. Like, no reapplying, no smudging, which is amazing. I used to carry my makeup bag to work with me because I knew that I would have to reapply at least my foundation and eyeshadow that it wasn't going to last an entire shift. So that was a hassle and a waste of money. And the products I was using weren't even good for my skin. They weren't vegan. They weren't non-GMO, all that good stuff. So I'm confident in these products because they are natural. They don't just claim to be. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of baking with some natural powder just to set that highlighting and contouring that I just did. But like I said, you don't have to do these extra steps. I just like to have fun with it when I have extra time. I don't always have time for this. I'll just do tinted moisturizer, gloss, and go. But I 
have a little bit of time this morning. So I just press in some of our loose powder into wherever I just highlighted. And that powder is going to bake or set really well just for an airbrush finish. It's gonna last all day. So I just press that powder into wherever I just highlighted and let that sit for a minute. So it's still gonna look kind of funny for a little while. But that's baking. Or you can use a sponge if you would rather. But I like to use my brushes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes with some shadow scents. So our eyeshadows are long lasting, just like lip scents, which is amazing. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of Mocha Java Shimmer, which is my go-to, of course. I like to do the outside edges just for a little pop of color and then blend that in. So you can apply straight from the brush. And let that set. So an awesome thing about our shadows is you have a little wiggle room of like a minute before they set. So you can work with them, blend them in, make them look how you want before it sets since they're cream to powder. So that's really nice. So I'm just going to blend a little bit just so there's not as harsh of a line. So you can see this eye is blended and this eye is not. So I just like to blend it a little more. I'm going to do a little bit more of my pajama on this eye. Okay. And then... I have been loving our copper shadows. So I'm gonna blend in a little bit of <clears throat> copper rose shimmer. And these are so pigmented too. So I'm just gonna blend a little bit. How pretty that is. And blend, blend, blend. <laughs> so I just have a little angle of the eyeshadow brush that I like to use. So that is just Mocha Java. So this eye is just Mocha Java shimmer, and then this is blended with a little bit of Copper Rose shimmer. So you can see how pretty that is. Now it's just a little bit more of a copper brown.
like to go back with a little bit of sandstone pearl shimmer just to open up the inner corners. I'll show you how much it opens up my eyes. So sandstone pearl shimmer. Just on the inner corners. And then I can blend that in. So blend, blend, blend. See how pretty that is? It just makes my eye look a little bit more awake by adding that on the inner corner, see? I love it. All right, now I can do my powder, this dust off. That excess powder that I baked with, and see how pretty of an airbrush finish that is? This, it looks really crisp and clean. Look how pretty that is, I'm obsessed. All right, so I'm gonna finish out my blush and eyes and then put some lip scents on. So for blush, I love to use our liquid blush called Blush Scents. This is the color Toasted Rose. See how pretty, just a pretty everyday rose color. I just do a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and buff that in. See how pretty that is? I love our liquid blush. All right, and a little bit of pearlizer. So this is highlighter, and I like to put it on my cheekbones just to make that bone pop. So you can see how pretty that is. Just makes it pop instantly. Just dab a little bit of that on each cheekbone. See how pretty that is? And then anywhere else, I want a little bit of highlight. Oops, got a little too much. So blush is done and then liner I use our onyx so this is black eyeshadow I just use a little angled brush or you can apply it straight from the wand if you like a more smudged eyeliner look I usually do like a winged eye
Just a little something like that. A little winged eye for you. Then finish with some lash scents. Love our lash scents. So I use black, but I start with under scents. Which is a lash builder. And then let that dry. So while I'll let that under scent sit, I'm gonna do my lips. So I think I'm gonna try a new color. This is actually one of my top sellers that was discontinued but was just brought back as a part of our permanent lineup. So I think I'm gonna try it out today. This is Honey Rose. What do y'all think? Honey Rose. This is Bella that I've been wearing like every day. And I'm tempted to wear it today because I'm obsessed with it. But I'm trying to get outside the box and try new things. So this is Bella that I've been wearing the last few videos that I've done. This is Honey Rose. It's a pretty shimmer. It's kind of like a coral shimmer. I think I'm going to go for it and do Honey Rose. These are a few of my top sellers too right now. Plum and Persimmon and Praline Rose. So the Honey Rose I'm about to wear is like a lighter shimmery version of Persimmon. So that's really pretty. Let me do my lash scents since my under scents is dry. I need to open a new bottle. This one is almost empty. I've been using it constantly, every day. I'm obsessed with our lash scents. Because it doesn't come off. It doesn't smudge off. Leave me with raccoon eyes. And it lengthens, so. Best of both worlds. I'm not feeling shimmery today for my lip color. So I, I want to do Bella. I think I'm going to do Bella. I'm obsessed with it. So you should just go ahead and get some because you need it in your life. Like seriously, I've been wearing Bella every day and I want to keep wearing it. <laughs> I have a problem. A lip sense problem.
We've had his lash since our waterproof mascara. Done with that. Okay. I think I'm gonna do Bella. Let me get my matte gloss real quick. I'm going to do three thin layers in one direction. And this is Bella, one of my top sellers. It's a gorgeous MAC neutral that I'm obsessed with. So, apply my first layer, okay? Layer number two. Layer number three. How pretty that is. So I just applied just a little matte gloss and it's gonna last all day. Not gonna smudge off. 
Love it. So I do have these products available if you want to try them. Shop the link on my link tree in my bio with my website and I will ship out to you. So I hope you'll have a great day and hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.